Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds.
He's right. Time to get my shit together. I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. I never imagined Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. I could use a Michael pep talk. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at 12. Wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. Do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. What the? Probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened, but what the hell was I supposed to say? I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. That was a good memory even though Tyler couldn't come. Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here.
This is personal. I haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that I can't really eat anything right now. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Maybe if I make something for D, it'll help calm me down. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Here's my ID. <sighs> this place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My claim deserves better. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. So don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record.
Uh, Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? You swore, Allison. It's nothing. This is nothing. feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Secret keeper in her secret keep. No way. It worked. I wonder why it needed a coin. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night?
My dove. Only thieves and monsters hide in the dark. Fly back to the light, Allison. What the? Hey. No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. phone here. God, where is it? What's it doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> Get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file. Get dressed, and head out. Or, it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. I was not in the right headspace to make something last night. I should try it again. I miss you, pup. Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserve that. This is a totally different life. <sighs> I've got enough time. Morning. 
Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? No, he's, uh, busy. Out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I, I'm pretty beat. Oh, oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tessa are legitimately concerned. Plus, a uh, door-to-door -door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying, I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know, I... I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. So, maybe this will cheer you up. 
I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh, God. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um, I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? God, everything? My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Your alley. I hear you. Okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I've looked into therapists a few times, but. They're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. 
That's how much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. I should grab a piece of... I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Morning. Hello, Miss Ronan. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Nothing really. Just... Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. D looks pretty busy. Maybe I should just come back later. <laughs> yep. Wilson? Yeah, she's teacher's pet. You'll probably starve before she clocks out. I'll give her a few more minutes. Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People come in and all... What are they talking about? They're talking about none of your business, young lady. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Eh, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. Thank you. You can't imagine how many hours it's been on this case. I think I'll need to requisition your dog's kennel for the day, though. Sure, no problem. She doesn't care for it that much anyway. All right, I'll meet you no, outside I can in a minute. They're spying, right? Then we will proceed with the prisoner's case. Okay. I'll await further instructions in the parking lot. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? <sighs> Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. 
And guess who it was? Wait, huh? You know, the perp who's been going around stealing people's mail and dumping their packages into the snow. Anyway, Dr. Torres caught him. She's got him locked in a cage in the back of her SUV. Wait, she's got him where now? It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not gonna be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to get what we needed. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable, you're not a troublemaker. Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Okay. <sighs> 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 
Just keep going. In and out. I've been here before. It'll end. It'll end. Wait, am I still breathing? Yes. I'm still breathing. Keep going. My heart's still racing. I think I need to just let go. What's happening? I'm so scared, Allison. Me too. I don't want to go. And maybe... Maybe we should tell them the truth. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe. But what if we get in trouble and then we both get Time sent away? Hey, Chief Brown, wait. I, uh, I went back to the house and got these three kids. They, uh, they wouldn't let me take anything else. I'm, I'm sorry. Sam, please tell them to let us stay together. Please. Oh, gosh. Please. Uh, I don't have that kind of power. Sam. Oh, kids. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look. You're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle. It was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying?
she... She was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I... I killed her! <laughs> I killed my mother! <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He... He went to Fireweed. We lied! We lied to everyone! could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. <laughs> should have seen it. I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you two. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close were he and Marianne? I... I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later.
Okay. You can do this. got the lifters in there. Oh, Allie, I... <laughs> Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right, uh, here she is. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. So, um, I was over at the station, and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. Uh, where's your brother? Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> So, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? <laughs> All right. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. Real shame. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm, yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but we sure as hell are going there. one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about that. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? Impressive collection. You want some? Take them. 
I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Oh, that's a really nice sextant. Oh, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but, uh... I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? Pass me that wrench, will ya? Sam? Are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look... We were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship. 
steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Uh, what do you do on board? Oh, I work the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull, ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. Looking sharp, first mate, Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that... That was, uh... A long time ago. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. Hey, come have a look. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. Love this picture, your mama. What's all this? Here, I, uh... Kept a few things. Can I? Swords and schemes. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh huh. She saved up for a whole year to make that happen.
She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. She had me close the whole thing up. Told her it was gonna be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Well, are you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all that, it's all we got left. <laughs> you can't just throw it away. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I ever tell you about the time I broke my leg? Shinbone snapped in three different places. It stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. Hey, Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on.
Listen. If you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey. Fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so going to miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and, you know, I'm not going to have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. Come on, pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. I got it, I got it. Mm. Slippery little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. Hey. So, the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we are going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE? Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so I found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, 
My offer still stands. The JC holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I... I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. You got anything good in there? Maybe, but who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine, be that way. Alright, here we go. Careful. The line's gonna snap. <sighs> <laughs> that one's a goner. Oh, come on. <sighs> These fish are really putting up a fight. Hey, now you know better than to underestimate them. Oh, I won't. <sighs> so, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out... We weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live... out here? You mean, outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage, but after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there, but now I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. So you gonna tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. Or I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person. You know that? <laughs> you betcha. Don't you say anything. I got this. Easy. You don't want to snap the line. Careful. The line's gonna snap. Easy. You don't want to snap the line. Careful. The line's gonna snap. <laughs> Next time, huh? <sighs> Damn. It's this tiny fishing pole. I'm not used to it. That's it. Blame your tools. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough? To put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not 
really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later? You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. Why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. And you took his word for it? He was crazy in love with Marianne. Whoever set that fire was doing damage control. And Sam's nothing but damage. I guess he really doesn't have anything left to lose, does he? There's something else. 
Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. You want to take another look at the picture? It might help. Need to see the picture again? Nothing here. Just a regular old light switch. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. Secret Keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's find a way to climb up there. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. Can you see anything? Nope, not a... Here, found a switch. That shaved a few years off my life. Whoa. It's... Her story. Look. She left us something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book?
Here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? Okay. Spot the differences. It moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the Mad Hunter. So the princess is running away from the Mad Hunter? Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Do you think the Gold Lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, you're right. She ran away. Just like the princess is here. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories, or after. Yeah. At some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. Okay, spot the differences. Actually, I'm not sure. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So, Marianne ran away from home. Actually, I'm not sure. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? Wait. Or not. Uh, it's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Uh, pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? I would guess so. Oh, poor thing. Why 
would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Mary Ann grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures. I don't think she would. Is the gold lady setting the animals free? Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Huh. What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time? Her father. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried, who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Wow, she worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Is 
Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? This just lit up, so I think we're supposed to try this one next. What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. 
She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. And then he was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on, but when it looked like we were gonna be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah, but we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? The princess lost her most precious treasure. All right, should be easy enough. Did it just get darker in here? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. I was her son. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these? Here, the secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. Back in your pond, big frog. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. The ice king goes in the forest, obviously. There you go, stalwart moose. I wish she just explained all this to us. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. Crafty goblins go here. That's the pious pelican spot. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give a newly bloomed bluebell? A handful of ripe berries? 
Uh, fresh caught salmon? Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Crafty Goblin's Loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly wrote some flour for the cake, maybe? Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? Hmm. Didn't they take some of the princess's... What if they took some spoons? Did they steal candy? I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. I'm not sure. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. The Crafty Goblin's Good Deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. 
Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. And you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want, as long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... 
It's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh. You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. 
His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. <laughs> You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back. Allie, you okay? You didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? Yes, it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something... That's it. Yeah. I guess, at this point, you just... 
have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? To kill you! Are you sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler, that was meant for us. It was our way of, of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Will it have aged well, or just gone bad? Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter 
was forced to remain below the lake with the moon hag. But she did not kill him. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. One last look. I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> Did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house, and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Alice's mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you.
Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say well, you were right about grief. About it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog. And my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around, and thank you.